Welcome back friends. A new year has begun. Wait, am I growing old? No! Well, what does the year bring with it other than the usual boring stuff? Oh yeah, cooler space missions. Ready of them. Yes, our intriguing fact facts. NASA's New Horizons Pluto mission, NASA again with Dawn Asteroid Belt mission, Japan's JAXA with Akatsuki Venus, India's ISRO with AstroSat Space Observatory and ESA's futuristic IXV re-entry vehicle. I'm really growing old, aren't I? Oh, come on! NASA's Nixon Hydra New Horizons is NASA's mission to the Kuiper Belt which flies by Pluto. Launched on 19 January 2006 from Cape Canaveral, directly into an escape trajectory with a speed of about 16 km per second, it set the record for the highest launch speed of a human-made object from Earth's sphere of influence. The spacecraft crew performed the flyby on 14 July 2015. In its journey, the craft has studied the asteroid 1325248 APL and has also investigated Jupiter on its closest approach of 2.3 million kilometers on 28 February 2007. The Jupiter flyby provided a gravity assist that increased New Horizons' speed by 4 km per second. This encounter was also used to test its instruments. After Jupiter, the probe continued towards Pluto. It woke up one last time on 6 December 2014 before its last hibernation. That is, the next time it wakes up, it shall be near Pluto. The craft shall fly by the dwarf planet and its moon Charon and transmit pictures back to Earth. Its main objectives are to determine the geology and surface composition of Pluto and Charon. Hail Hydra! NASA's Dawn Mission the Dawn Space Probe was launched by NASA in 2007 to study two of the most massive objects of the asteroid belt, Vesta and the Dwarf Planet series. In order to fulfill its mission, the Dawn craft carries three special instruments, a visible camera, a visible and infrared mapping spectrometer, and a gamma ray and neutron spectrometer. Having completed its mission of Vesta, the craft is currently en route to Ceres, which by the way is the largest body in the asteroid belt. Dawn was the first spacecraft to visit Vesta entering orbit in 2011 and successfully completing its 14-month survey mission of Vesta in late 2012. It is expected to enter Ceres' orbit in April 2015. So what's so special about Vesta and Ceres? Well, these celestial bodies are believed to have accreted early in the history of the solar system. This the mission is likely to reveal the secrets of the early solar system and the processes that dominated its formation. Let's hope then. JAXA's Akatsuki Reloaded Meaning Dawn in Japanese, the Katsuki craft was launched aboard an S2A rocket on 20th May 2010. It was supposed to explore the planet Venus. Planned objectives included cloud and surface imaging and to confirm the presence of lightning and to determine whether volcanism currently occurs on Venus. But the mission failed to insert the craft into Venus's orbit when the main engine backfired on 7th December 2010. So why are we talking about it now? Simple, you're growing old. No. It so happens that the craft has been roaming in space in a solar orbit since then. After missing its first chance to orbit Venus two years ago, the craft is ready for a comeback in 2015. Yeah, you heard it right. It should fly close to Venus again sometime in November this year. Scientists plan to use its orientation control thrusters, which are small engines of a sort, to insert the probe into Venerian orbit, this one farther than the one originally planned. If this succeeds, the craft shall still be able to complete most of its objectives. So let's keep our fingers crossed and wait. ISRO's Observatory 101 India's first dedicated astronomy satellite, AstroSat, is scheduled to launch on board a PSLV rocket in 2015. AstroSat is proposed as a multi astronomy mission on an IRS-class satellite into a near-Earth equatorial orbit by the launch vehicle. The payloads on board cover the visible, near-UV, far-UV, soft X-ray and hard X-ray regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. AstroSat will carry out multi observations covering spectral bands from visible light, UV to hard X-ray regions both for the study of specific sources of interest and in survey mode. The scientific payload has a total mass of 750 kg and contains 6 instruments. The Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope, Soft X-ray Imaging Telescope, the LAX PC instrument for X-ray timing and low resolution spectral studies over a broad energy band, Cadmium Zinc Telluride Imager, the Hard X-ray Imager, Scanning Sky Monitor for Sky Brightness Mapping and Charged Particle Monitor for Anomalous South Atlantic Fluxes. Keep going Isro, spread thy wings. ESA's IXV Project the IXV project aims at development of technologies and critical systems which would empower the European Space Agency to conduct autonomous re-entry for return missions from low Earth orbit. The experimental vehicle is about the size of a car and weighs almost 2 tons. IXV will be injected into a suborbital path by a Vega rocket launched from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana in spring 2015. IXV will separate from Vega at an altitude of 320 km. It will attain an altitude of around 450 km, allowing it to reach a speed of 7.5 km per second when re-entering the atmosphere at an altitude of 120 km. It will collect a large amount of data during its hypersonic and supersonic flights while being controlled by thrusters and aerodynamic flaps. 
Well, technically. That wasn't flying. That was falling with style. So that's all for now, friends. And please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, let us know what astronomical event, rocket science, space tech, or space time history you would like to know about next, and we will do it for you. Till then, bye bye. Sayonara.